Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing well. Today we are testing out this beauty right here. This is the Nook Ink palette, which I am literally so obsessed with. Mint is just really pretty and it has all the little pictures of Timmy and Tommy and Tom Nook on the front. I'm so excited to be continuing the mini series on my channel of the Animal Crossing makeup because this one is so, so cute and I absolutely adore like the colour mint and anything mint related really, like mint chocolate, like I love it. I know some people don't like it, mint chocolate has a place on this earth in my heart so no mint chocolate slander in the comments. But anyway, this palette is so, so cute so let's just get on to the video and yeah, let's, let's, let's open her up. <laughs> So here is the palette when you open it up, it's just a mini little cord with the three, three colours with the four colours and it also has a little mirror with their little faces on which I think is absolutely adorable. So in this palette you get one dark matte, you get a matte with some sparkles in it, a shimmer and a pressed glitter. So I think I want to do like a carve out like a crescent moon on the outer corner of my eye and then put in the shimmer and I also want to use some gems today so I've got these little butterfly gems which I think will be perfect so let's just get straight on into the makeup look okay so I hope you don't mind being this close to me but I also have some exciting information which isn't really exciting information but is satisfying something <laughs> let's peel off the little mirror because I will be using it so I'm gonna I'm gonna peel it off right now and, and you can join in. Hell yeah. Ooh, look at that shiny mirror. <laughs> so obviously with these quads, you're not really gonna get much difference between the looks that you can create because there is like a very limited amount of colors. So I'm gonna just start off with the dark color here. So I'm gonna try and put it on my eyes in like a crescent moon shape. So let's just get started. To start, I think I'm gonna take this little flat brush to try and carve out the shape that I wanna achieve. So I'm just gonna pop it in. So as you can see, the brush already has a lot of pigment, but be careful when you pick it up because it has so much fallout. This is like a common issue with ColourPop. It's not technically an issue, but just something to be aware of. Obviously it can get a little bit messy, especially around your eyes, so you might have to retouch up in some areas or maybe do your base last, which is what I usually do, but for YouTube I usually put my base on first so that I don't have to do it later on. So yeah, I'm gonna go straight into it and try and carve out my moon shape. So as you can see, it's super pigmented and it's already gone on my eye so like dark. However, you can see there is a massive patch of fallout here. So I'm definitely gonna be having to do my under eyes after this. And I'm just gonna bring it in to the middle here. Okay, so this is the perfect shape that I want my eye to be today. However, I am gonna go in with a fluffy blending brush and see how it blends first before I put it on the other eye, just in case I need to put a little bit less on or like adjust the way I apply it. So I'm gonna go in, this is the smallest blending brush I have from Sigma, it is the E36. And I'm just gonna blend that out as much as I can. It's definitely blending. The blend is coming off with a like a lightish green. Okay, so as you can see, it's definitely blending. Perfect, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so I'm happy with the blend, so I'm gonna go straight into the other eye and pop this on. Oh my gosh, I think this is literally the most pigmented palette from the Animal Crossing series that I've tried so far. I'm really pleased with how that is, just be careful because oh my gosh, I think if I didn't put it on like in such a big area it would be a bit easier to control, however it's all going to come together so I'm going to go and apply a cut crease using my P. Louise and then we can try out the shimmer shade. So I just applied my cut crease and as you can see, the outer corner here has like a crescent moon shape. I should have definitely removed the pigment underneath, however I totally forgot to do that, so I'll make sure to do that next time. And yeah, it's just a cute little crescent moon shape ready to put on the shimmer. I now have both cut creases on and I'm gonna go in straight away with the shimmer shade. And of course, I always like to do this with a brush and my finger, so I'm gonna try it with my brush first. So I'm gonna take my flat brush here and I'm just gonna pop it on. I think I wanna start with Yes Yes, which is the shimmer here in the corner. So I'm just gonna take a bit on my brush it's packed on my brush beautifully so let's go and have a look how it looks on the eyes so here we go let's pack it on the eye 
I think you can tell that it's gone. Is that a good or bad thing? I don't know. So I'm packing it on and the first thing I noticed, it's not like a massive like wow factor. I'm not getting shocked right now but it's definitely very very pretty and I think it might maybe even show up more if I took off the pigment underneath when I applied my base but it's a very pretty mint colour for sure. It's also applying really well with a brush which is always a benefit for me as much as going in with a finger like can really make some shadows nice I don't like getting messy if I can help it so that's the color when I pack it on with a brush you can definitely see it and it's really nice and very pretty but it's not like pow like it's not massively like in your face I'll zoom you in a little bit closer so here it is a little bit closer and next I'm gonna go in with the glitter shade CEO so I'm excited about that so I'm gonna pick up CEO on the opposite side of my brush as you can see the glitter has gone straight onto my brush and I'm gonna pop this in the inner corner of my eye so that is the glitter on my eye I'm very happy with the glitter I think it looks really pretty and especially because it's like this very pastel kind of mint shade I don't have anything like that in my collection so there it is and I'm just gonna go on and do the other eye now but I'm gonna try it with my finger so here is yes yes on my finger this is the shimmer shade so I'm gonna apply it to the lid and then I'm gonna take the glitter which this is what it looks like on the finger and I'm gonna pack that onto the inner corner if you look closely I feel like the brush applied it so much better the glitter is more concentrated on my eye with the brush and then on my eye without the brush it kind of just quite lackluster so before we go in with the fun things I'm just gonna go under my eye with the water landon this is the darkest shade and just using the flat brush I used originally to go under I don't want to put oh my god <laughs> I don't want to put too much as I say with how dark that is um, so I'm gonna try and blend it out as much as I can and again I'm gonna take the same blending brush I used earlier I think it's time to wipe this bit off so just ignore the fact that it's gonna take a massive patch of foundation out uh, but it's got all the shades on all the pressed glitter oh my gosh <laughs> let's take this off we can fix it up later there we go that's better i've not got a massive like blob in my face now so so far we've tried out all the colors besides made in the shade which is this one here i'm gonna see if i can blend out the lower lash line with it and see what it looks like and to do so i'm gonna take another small blending brush that i have instantly i already love this color i don't know if you can tell but it's a much more like grass green again it's very very pigmented i'm very happy with it i really really like this color actually with all of the glitter kind of matte shades i find that once you start applying them and blending them out the glitter kind of disappears it doesn't disappear completely but it's definitely not concentrated okay so i know i'm looking a little bit crazy my eyes are massive but trust me the process always comes together and i think i'm gonna go in now with a bit of graphic liner nothing too hard at all i'm just gonna go in with a pastel green around the cut crease okay so i just realized i don't actually have a green graphic liner so i'm gonna take this pink one here because i think it will match in with my hair nicely and pink and green is like an amazing color combination I love it so much so I'm just gonna take this one here so this is a cake liner by makeup by Tammy turn it around the right way um, and it just activates with water so I'm gonna pop that on now using a nail art brush so these are the brushes I usually use on my nails they're super thin and concise so they're gonna work great on the eye so I've just poured a little bit of water into the lid and I'm gonna dip my brush into it and then I'm gonna swivel in my brush into the product so as you can see I just tested it on my hand and I'm gonna go straight on to the eyelid so you want to take your time with this practice is absolutely perfect and it's okay if you make mistakes as well you can always go in and fix it okay so I'm really happy with how that looks I'm gonna go and do it on the other eye now and be right back to add some butterfly gems which I'm so excited about 
Okay, so I made it back and I'm not gonna lie, the eyes aren't perfect how I wanted them to turn out. I feel like this eye here is much more rounded and has that kind of round shape. Whereas this eye is a little bit more pointed and it's also a little bit taller, as you can tell with my Blossom video. Um, but yeah, I think doing these videos definitely helped me develop more skills and I'm just gonna carry on with how I want the look to go and hopefully they'll come together in the end. So for the next part of the look, I have these extremely cute and exciting little gems. So I bought these gems off of eBay and they're just little butterflies and I think I'm gonna use definitely some of the green, pink and blue. I think I won't use the red though because they're quite dark. So these are for nails but I can definitely reuse them as well. I did originally buy these to do a Final Fantasy themed makeup look However, I want to put a bit more detail into that look, so I'm definitely going to wait to use them for that. But I'm going to pop them on this look today because I think they'll be really pretty. To stick them onto my eye, I'm just going to use the Eyelure Lash Glue because I unfortunately ran out of my Pound Lashes glue, which I'm really sad about. I need to reorder it, so I've got this one here for now. Before I do the butterflies, I'm just going to add on some liner. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop some dots where I think I want the butterflies to go. And I'm gonna wait for the glue to get tacky. Oh my God, it stuck straight away, but they are quite big actually. Yeah, it's definitely easier to use a tweezer. So they're quite big, so I'm gonna leave it as four for the time being. And I'm gonna go on to the other eye and pop them on. It's kind of fun. They look kind of, they look really cute actually in person. So I'm not trying to get them in the exact same space. So here's how it looks with the butterflies on. Oh my gosh. The inner corner ones are a bit harder than the outer corner, but I think they look so adorable. And I'm just gonna finish up my lower lash line. I'm gonna add my lashes and I'll see you right after. So I've just popped on my lashes. I used the Cala Fairy Lash and I picked these up in TK Maxx. I thought they were perfectly wispy enough to still show off the butterflies. And to finish this look, I just need to pop on some blush, highlighter and lips. So of course I'm using my Pink Flower Power Blush. This is so adorable. I have already used this plenty of times. I use it regularly. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it. Just get her out of her packaging. I, I don't want to get a rid of the packaging for some reason because I feel like I don't want these to get dirty I just love them so much so here is the blush palette just gonna lift her up like that they are literally the same she just has a slightly longer lid but yeah they are very cute and they go perfectly with each other I'm just gonna take some on my brush and then pop her onto my cheeks of course this pink color as well is really gonna complement the green and I'm also gonna pop some onto my nose Highlighter up next and I'm using Star Suffer from Kaleidos. I've only recently got this and I am obsessed. This is a beautiful silver to pink kind of toned highlighter. And I think again, it's just gonna go perfect with the mint and pink kind of color that we have going on here. I mean, can't help with my hair being pink. So <laughs> let's just pop her on. So as you open her up, she just looks like this. So I take my highlighter on a big fluffy brush and then I just pop it on to the high points of my cheek. I'm also gonna put her on my nose and then taking a pencil brush, I'm just gonna pop it into the inner corner as well. The glitter already is doing most of the job in the inner corners, so this is probably just gonna add a little bit of tone. So last but not least, we have the Fruit Basket Mini Duo. So this is the just a hint for the collection. And oh my gosh, the boxes are absolutely cute. I know we've already seen them, but the boxes are adorable and I cannot get myself to get rid of this box. She's gorgeous. We have Juicy Apple and Cherry Cherry. Let's see what one we should take today. So ignore the green on my hand, but these are the colors we have to choose from. And I think I'm gonna go with this one here. And this is the cherry. You can see that I've already used it before. So here she is. She's looking a little bit messy, but nothing that I can't clean up. And I mentioned these in my past video, but they smell just like the, um, I forgot the name of them. And I think I forgot the name of them in the last video, which was the La Bella the Ball video. I'll link it right here. Lip smackers, that's it. They smell just like lip smackers. And so yeah, I'm gonna pop her onto my lip, blot her out with my finger. So these are just a tint, of course, so they don't stay or last all day. For me, I found they wore off quite quickly. However, they do look nice when you pop them on and they smell divine. They're not the most comfortable thing to wear. I wouldn't 
probably purchase them again. Yeah, I'm not disappointed with them. They're just not the, they're not long lasting and they're just kind of a tint that kind of wears off. So yeah, there's nothing special to them. And if I were to recommend anything, I would absolutely go for the blushes and the palettes over the lip products, but they are really cute. <laughs> so this is the look finished. I'm really happy, like, super happy with how this palette performed I think it is absolutely gorgeous I love the mint tone so much I thought I would be saying at the end of this video that I wish it had a bit more of a lighter green however this color here is a lot more of a grassy green than you would expect it to be it's a little bit more darker in the pan than I feel it is on the eye the glitter is beautiful the yes yes shimmer isn't amazing it's not like wow factor and of course as you can tell from the video the water landing shade is so pigmented i'm really happy with how it performed so yeah definitely keep an eye on how you place that on your eye it has a lot of fallout all over i'm super happy with how this palette performed i will definitely use it again if you recreate this look please tag me on your social media i'd love to see it if you didn't want to use the butterflies on your eyes i think they would look super pretty on the cheeks so have a little bit more of a subdued eyes with the butterflies on the cheeks i think that would be so pretty and i might try that out in the future keep an eye out on my instagram because i'm going to be posting the look that i have completed on the day that i upload this video so please go and support me over on instagram as well i'd be so so happy and grateful to see you over there or if you came from instagram thank you so much for watching my video leave me a comment down below let me know if you have this collection or do you like the look let me know anything about animal crossing i adore animal crossing so 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 much if you're interested in following me elsewhere i do stream animal crossing on twitch i'm on a little break at the moment but when i get back into it hopefully in a couple of months i'm going to be streaming my pink kawaii animal across an island so if you're interested in that definitely go head over there and drop me a follow but overall i'm really excited to take some photos of this and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe if you want to see more cute pink content i do a lot of makeup a lot of fashion and stuff inspired by gaming so if that's what you're interested in please drop a subscribe and i'd love to have you here um, i hope you have an amazing day and i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye